Hi guys, welcome to Pagupayu channel. In our last few videos on optimization modeling, we have explained to you how to apply optimization modeling in production planning. In that, we have shown how optimization modeling helps you to define the number of machines required or the inventory level required or the manpower required and different kinds of things and then how to maximize your profit with the application of optimization modeling in production planning. Now, once a factory has manufactured in its products, it has to distribute to the market for which the company makes different levels of warehouses and distributors. In this video, we will talk about how to apply optimization modeling in distributor distribution networks. For example, this biscuit manufacturing companies have two factories, one at Pondi, Pondicherry and another one in Faridabad, and then five different regional warehouses. Further, they have divisional warehouses at 10 different locations. So from this divisional warehouses, it will be distributed to their dealers or distributors whomsoever nearby in that particular division. So here the major expense is the transportation cost in case of distributing from factory to the end customer. So in the first case, what we are going to show you is we are taking the total demand from the regional warehouses and we are going to ship the biscuits which is manufactured at these two factories to these regional warehouses. So the collected demand is around 4,29,200 which is the boxes, number of boxes. So here the capacity of each plant is around 112 million. So how we have derived this in our last scenario, you can see 112 million number of biscuit packets were manufactured. So if you have not watched that series, the link is available in description. Please go and watch it. So now the total capacity will be multiplied by two because each plant having this capacity. So 224 million uh, biscuit packets can be manufactured from this two factory because uh, both the factories are, are of similar size. So we are going to supply the number of boxes to each factory. So each box will have 50 number of packs. So the total supply which both factory can do is around 4.4 eight lakhs boxes after dividing it by 50. So each vehicle can take up to 500 boxes. So because it would be economical to send a full load vehicle instead of half load, if you are sending some 400 boxes at the end of the day, the per kilometer cost will go on a higher side. So that's the reason it is always uh, required to send a full load vehicle. The company has to spend around nine rupees per kilometer for the transportation. They are having some sort of a rate contract with, uh, with some of their transporters. Based on that, the average uh, spend would be around nine rupees per kilometer. This table talks about the kilometers of distance between the regional warehouse and factory. For example, Chennai to Pondicherry it is only 151 kilometer. When it comes to Pune, it is 1000 kilometers more. So Faridabad, they have a factory as well as their regional warehouses. So there is no need of transportation. This is the most economical regional warehouses, you can say. So the kilometers will be zero. So now <clears throat> what, uh, how we can able to calculate the uh, transportation cost because our main objective would be reducing the transportation cost which is minimizing in case of uh, the production planning we were always talking about maximizing the profit considering the selling price of biscuit but when it comes to the distribution 
the company has to reduce their freight cost or whatever the other handling cost or anything which is associated in this. So if I say the number of vehicles, because we have already decided each and every location shall be sent with full load vehicles only. So if we are talking about some 10 vehicles, so 10 multiply by the kilometers, whatever between the warehouse and the factory multiplied by the transportation cost will give you the transportation cost between the uh, transportation cost per kilometer. If you multiply, you will get the total transportation cost for sending the material from factory to that particular uh, regional warehouse. So now we have to build the model in such a way so that you will get the minimum cost associated with this distribution. So here what we have did is we are going to calculate the number of boxes here right now I have mentioned zero. So instead of that what I'm going to do is I'm going to consider one uh, vehicle for time being. So how this calculation is done is simple. So here the number of boxes. So if you send one vehicle, so 500 boxes per vehicle. So 500 will be the number of boxes. So if it becomes two, this will become thousand. So this is what has been calculated. So the number of boxes cell B14 is fixed and the remaining vehicle uh, the to respective location is considered here. So if this becomes three, so accordingly, this has become 1500. So this is one side. So the factory has some capacity. So whatever the total supply from that factory cannot go beyond this capacity. So the total supply here to each warehouses from Pondicherry, it can't go beyond. 2,24,000 boxes, similarly from Faridabad as well. Then other thing is the demand. So total supply to Chennai or Pune, whatever. So it should not be less than their demand. So it should be on the higher side. So if you take a lesser demand, lesser supply, so you will lose the opportunity to sell it in the market. So it is advisable to send it above the demand. So here the total capacity, one thing we have to verify total capacity is 4.48 lakhs. So the demand is less than the total capacity. So the company will not have a problem in supplying the material. So they are not going to lose any opportunity to sell their biscuit in their market because of stock out or capacity constraint. Further. The transportation cost. How we are going to calculate? It's going to be very, very simple. So here, the kilometer, as I said before, the kilometer multiplied by the number of vehicle and cost per kilometer will give the transportation cost from Pondi to Chennai, similarly Pune to, sorry, Pondi to Pune, likewise Faridabad to Indore, all those uh, regional warehouses. So here we have calculated the cost. Our main objective cell is this one, T18, which I have highlighted in green. So the total transportation cost is nothing but the sum of all these transportation cost values. So right now, based on the number of vehicles, it is showing lower, but when, once we use solver which is available under data tab so if you use the solver we will get to know what is the minimum cost we can spend <clears throat> so here our objective cell is t18 which i have selected we have to minimize this cost so we have selected min then the ch changing variable obviously it is going to be the number of vehicles so this this is the values which 
we are going to find out using this model. The constraints, the first and foremost constraint is this one, the total supply cannot be higher than capacity, which means the supply should be less than or equal to capacity. First constraint is that. Then the second constraint is total supply should be greater than or equal to the demand. So the second constraint is also added. Then one more constraint we have to consider is this one. So the vehicles, it has to be an integer. So we can't say 1.5 vehicle capacity has been set. So it is a full load vehicle. So 1.5 and all is not acceptable. So it has to be an integer. <clears throat> so we have added the third constraint also. So beyond that, there is no constraint in this problem. So we have added those constraints. And here the model is going to be simplex LP. So negative variable is, should not come. So we have make sure this tick map is uh, ticked, this box is ticked. So once you click solve, so with the click of a button, Excel has worked out the simplest answer. So which you can say 49,500 is the total supply, only 300 boxes more has been sent. So the total supply. So here, if you see Faridabad, actually they have sent 100% capacity. But Pondicherry, yes, they could not able to supply the 100% quantity. And again, these constraints and everything. So only uh, Faridabad, actually, they have taken that 300 box extra will be available at Faridabad factory only. Then the values of transportation cost at each location is considered. Only Kolkata is the regional warehouse who took the biscuits from both the factory, Pondicherry as well as Faridabad. Both the factories, they have taken the material. So the transportation cost is around 54.23 lakhs. So the transportation cost we have calculated. So like this way, we can able to use solver to find out the minimum cost as well as how many number of vehicles has to be sent to each location using optimization model in Excel. Further, I will just explain you a few things, which is the total selling price. We have talked about this. Um, the selling price is nothing but the calculation of H2750 and 10, which is nothing but H27 is the total box supplied multiplied by 50. 50 is the number of boxes, number of packs per boxes. So that's why it is multiplied by 50 and 10 rupees is the selling price of each packet. So total selling price would be somewhat around 21.47 crore is the, and the manufacturing cost we have already calculated in S6 sheet, the total material cost, machine cost, wages and packing cost put together is the manufacturing cost. The total cost will be manufacturing cost plus the transportation cost. So if you see this two, values is the total cost as a, as on now. The profit would be selling price minus the total cost will give the profit. When you calculate the margin, it is going to be 318%. But if you see, it was showing 388% till distribution. But when once you the company spends for their transportation from they are from factory to regional warehouses, their margin drops. Up. So likewise, the company at each level, each and every expenses affects the margin. So in this first video, we have only explained you about 
the delivery up to the regional warehouses further we will talk about because we have already shown you distributing to the divisional warehouses then we will show from divisional warehouses to the nearby uh, warehouses or uh, the dealers and everything those things also will explain you in our upcoming videos hope you have learned something new from this video give a thumbs up to our video please do subscribe our channel share with your friends if you have any queries please put it in comment sections thanks for watching bye bye